Orokanui Eco Sanctuary is a little bit quieter. The impact of a stray stoat is being realised by staff, who can't find the usually vocal and easy to spot saddleback. It's a major concern for conservation manager Alton Smith. In theory we should have between 40 and 50 birds in here, judging by previous year's survival. Um, we've just completed a survey, a playback call survey, and we can't find a single bird. And there hasn't been a bird heard in Orokanui for about two months. While the damage is done, there's evidence suggesting the sanctuary is now stoat free. Several new and novel traps have been put in place by staff, and a stoat detection dog has been walked around the site for almost 20 hours. The dog came back without any positive indications. So I won't be so bold to say that we're stoat free, but the evidence is starting to more suggest that we don't have stoats than we do now. So far, saddlebacks are thought to be the only casualties. But there are concerns to Atara have fallen prey and staff will begin checking numbers in coming months as the reptiles exit winter burrows. Staff are also discussing whether the saddleback population can be restored. I think emotionally and maybe sort of politically would give it a rest for a couple of years. Um, but there's no reason in years to come where we can't do another transfer. Those, that population was all but established and it was going to be this month we were declaring it success. Until the stoat got in, the Eco Sanctuary saddleback population was thriving with breeding pairs and juveniles. And that gives staff hope for the future. Ruby McAndrew, 39, Dunedin News.